To use the thread tools, be sure you are on the same layer to which you want to add the thread. These motifs were set on layer 2, so I need to be on layer 2 to add thread. Select the thread color in the palette. You can also adjust the stitching style and the thickness of the thread. For this example, I'll make the weight a bit heavier so you can see it better. Remember, this is all just for visual reference. The thread brush tool changes all the thread color in one patch. Just click on the edge of the patch and they will color with the selected thread. You may have to click the refresh tool after using the thread tools. Thread brush is also used to recolor embroidery. Thread spray changes all matching thread in one block. Watch as these lines will change color because they are all currently black. Now they are red. The thread swap changes all matching thread colors to the new color on all layers throughout your whole quilt. This includes the piece blocks and border on layer 1 and quilting on layer 3. For this example, most of my patch outlines are still in the default black. I can use the thread swap and change all the patch outlines to a new color. Play around with the thread style and weight to see what you like best. Use the refresh tool to clean up your work table if necessary. When you save your quilt to the sketchbook, any newly colored blocks will show up as a new coloring in the blocks palette. If you want to color all of your quilting on layer 3 at once, but don't want to affect any other layers, use the thread spray tool and the control key on your keyboard. Mac users can use the command key. This will color all matching thread in all the blocks on layer 3 at a time. When coloring quilting, you have to be sure to click directly on the thread line. Sometimes zooming in helps with this.